perhaps the largest legs I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's saying a lot as I have in fact seen big Rami squats, which make absolutely no sense. Coach Greg in today's video introducing Neckzilla. This guy has a phenomenal physique. One of, if not the largest pair of thighs I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's not just me saying, it's also Larry Wheels. The biggest legs I have ever seen. OMG, I have traveled the world and collaborated with the majority of the fitness industry. I have never seen legs like this. And so the guy's name is Rubio Mosquero. Guy hails from Colombia. And so he's got a freaking massive necks. The traps, the neck muscles makes no sense. And I believe the name of the muscle in the back of the neck is the sternocleidomastoid. I can't remember. It was over 25 years I studied this in anatomy. But the guy's neck, it looks absolutely ridiculous. To me, it looks almost too ridiculous. And since his collaboration with Larry Wheels, everyone is talking about this guy. And you're thinking, how on earth is it possible that this guy is not an IFBB pro? Well, the truth of the matter is, he's going to be. He's competing in a matter of weeks to earn his IFBB Pro card. And so where has he been all this time? Well, in other countries, they have something called the IFBB Elite. It's this other federation just as happens to have the same name. And so you're thinking IFBB and you're thinking, oh yeah, that's the one where they compete for the Mr. Olympia. But there's different IFBBs. And so some people are elite in one division while they're pros in another. And so there's a big difference, a large discrepancy. The IFBB is by far much superior versus and in comparison to the IFBB Elite. It's night and day. You can be a professional bodybuilder in a number of organizations, some of which are natural. And to be a natural pro in a different federation, you perhaps won one show. You perhaps beat a bunch of local athletes. And so are you really a professional? Yeah, you are. But against who? It's kind of like having a PhD from Harvard versus saying you have some printed out document that you took from school on the internet. And so this guy was an IFBB elite pro in a different organization. And he now wants to become part of a bigger organization, that being the IFBB, to earn his IFBB pro card and then compete against the best IBB pros in the entire world. And so despite the fact that Jim Mannion, the head of the IBB, he set a copyright strike on my channel. That's right. He copyright strike my channel. And so, yeah, Coach Greg, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Yet he travels the world watching all the shows, supporting the athletes, talking to the people, making videos for the athletes. But no, we don't like it because he said something negative about us. He gave us his opinion. And so copyright strike Coach Greg. And so what else is new? Are they going to prevent me from judging? Is Coach Greg no longer going to be allowed to be a judge? I mean, why would we want Coach Greg with decades of experience competing in possibly more shows than almost anyone in the entire world. Why would we want him on the judging panel? And so unlike in the real world, people have an appointed spoke person to tell the powers that be what the people want. I'm doing that for them. And so look at this guy flexing in comparison to Larry Wheels. Remember, Larry Wheels is shredded over 250 pounds of muscle in comparison. Nexilla, look at the size of his quads in particular. Look at them. Does it even make sense? No wonder Larry Wheels is impressed. And Larry Wheels, I must say, an excellent vacuum could pose the biceps a little bit higher and one of his quads does appear to be better than the other. And so as I make this over 500,000 likes, over 3,000 comments, people cannot believe the size of his quads. When you see a guy doing incline dumbbell presses, do not watch the weight or the chest. All I can see is his quads. It does not make sense how much muscle this guy has in his legs. Larry Wheels has a ton of muscle, but in comparison, Neckzilla, it just makes no sense. Look at the neck. And so will he, in fact, be an amazing IPV pro? I don't know. I don't know if this is balanced. The legs are so out of proportions, massive, that he might be docked for not having the symmetry that he needs. But... How can you overlook this muscle? And so I believe he's going to enter his IBB Pro Qualifier. He's going to dominate the competition. I believe that even if he's not on point, if he's not at his peak, that he will still come out victorious. There is so much muscle that you cannot deny how impressive this man really is. Perhaps the largest legs I've ever seen in my entire life. And that's saying a lot as I have in fact seen big Rammy squads, which make absolutely no sense. And standing at perhaps 5 foot 10 inches tall. I've heard he's perhaps 5'11". I don't believe he's that tall. He's weighing in close to 300 pounds. Remember, guys
guy is single digit body fat. And so he's carrying more freaking mass than last time. And I'm not sure who is in the middle, but she's looking absolutely gorgeous. But her hips, they, they don't lie. I don't believe that this woman's natural in the middle. I don't believe that any of these people are natural, the guys and the girl. I could be wrong, of course. Perhaps all of them are natural. But what I'm seeing here, little sus, I don't think that they're actually natural. And so if you want to title this natty or not, I'm claiming not natty. He looks like legs with a little bit of human. The chafing is real. Imagine this guy training for an Ironman. How could he possibly run? The legs be rubbing and chafing. There'd be no skin left. Insane, not human. Is he on roids? Imagine asking if he's on roids. Over a thousand likes, 145 replies. And so people, I do believe they're being sarcastic. When people ask these questions, there's no way they actually think they're natural. Ask him the secret so we can all follow the protocol. And so here's the thing. There is no secret. Just because you see one person with an amazing physique doesn't mean that if you copy everything about them, that you do the exact same workout, the same diet, the same supplements doesn't mean you're going to get the same results and most likely not even close. If he has amazing genetics to grow muscle in his legs, he could perhaps look at a squat rack and his legs are going to get bigger. In comparison, if you have shitty genetics for bigger legs, you can train perfectly your entire life and never get nearly half of these gains. And so Larry Wheels responds when he had big legs before he even started training. I wonder what his heart looks like. Probably will know soon. And so I would absolutely love to see this guy's blood work. Would love to do a video talking about it. if I could ever get my hands on his blood work. Please send to me if you're interested in me getting his blood work done write him a message saying please get your blood work send it to coach greg for analysis definitely live his life in shorts most of the time larry responds if i had legs like that i'm never wearing pants imagine him wearing pants you really think they make pants to fit this guy there's no way that there are actual pants out there that he could buy i don't think if it's off the rack on the raft spandex jeans i have the stretchy jeans trust me i don't think there's a single pair of jeans out there that could fit on this man Bro skipped head day. Now remember, you cannot enlarge the bones in your head by just lifting weights. Now I'm not saying you can't get a larger face head by taking growth hormone, but you can't go and train to make your head get bigger. The size of your head, your bone structure, that is genetic. And so we don't need to make fun of this guy for having a smaller head than his legs. It doesn't match his body. He does not care. He wants to be a freak. He's training because he likes this look. He loves the attention he gives him. He loves his body. And so clearly people are loving this guy. Everyone is into the comment section. They're watching his videos. Larry did a training session with him. Over 400,000 views already. And so people loving Nexzilla. Let me know in the comment section. What do you think of this guy? Are you impressed more by the size of his neck or the size of his quads? And how do you think he'll do once he becomes an IB pro? Will we one day see him on the Olympia stage? And could he potentially be the victor? And so one supplement I'd recommend to Nexilla, GO2 Max. It could, in fact, improve his cardio, his ability to have more energy, be able to do more cardio and help him get shredded for his competition. And so although this does not directly build muscle, it's not directly a fat burner. What it does, is it gives you more energy. If you become a better butter burner, more energy. You can burn more calories when doing your cardio and more energy at rest. And so it increases your need, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. And if it allows you to have more energy, you're going to do more cardio, burn more calories, allow you to be in a deficit. And so you can see this is an amazing supplement. Not only that, it can help you to potentially live longer. And it's not just for elite level athletes. It's also for the couch potatoes. Double blind, placebo controlled human study. They improved 50% in the walking test score. That is amazing. That is in comparison to placebo. And so no, it's not the placebo effect. If you want more research, more studies, of course we have them at my website, but you can also Google NMN, the main ingredient and see just how amazing it really is. You can watch the Joe Rogan podcast featuring Andrew Huberman and others. And so please click the link in the description, code Greg, 10% off, subscribe, click the bell button, comment to boost the algorithm. Don't forget to watch one of the bloops, the cookbooks, the circle diet book, the training book, all these on my website, get over to the website, code Greg, 10% off. And of course, the free 50-page diet and training program, first and last name and email address, all for free. Head over to the website right now and don't forget to enter code Greg. And until next time, I am out.